Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kaylee and I'm so happy that you clicked on this video. Today we are going to do a super fun and funky creative vinyasa flow. Lots of fun transitions, lots of balancing poses, a good challenge and even if you're a beginner you could try this class and modify as needed. Expect to be all over the mat in the best way possible. I'm not gonna use any equipment for class, but if you like a block, go ahead and grab it. It could be helpful. And there's a Spotify playlist in the description, as always, if you want music to flow to. All right, let's get started. Child's pose. Toes together, knees wide. Reach the fingers out in front of you. Let the forehead rest. And right away, take a deep breath in. Exhale it out, sigh through the mouth. Allow yourself to arrive. Continue to deepen the breath. Eventually moving towards ujjayi, slight constriction at the back of the throat, making the breath audible. Noticing that we'll start to warm the body up from the inside out. And know that the hardest part is over. You made the choice to be here. You already rolled out your mat. You pressed play on this video. So can you give yourself the gift of staying present? We only have about 45 minutes together. So can you be here? Letting go of anything that is distracting you from this moment. And knowing that your breath is your anchor to the present moment anytime that a distra distraction pops up. And then on your next inhale, start to look forward. We're going to open the right arm out to the right. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, push the hips forward, right hand to the back of the right thigh, left arm by the ear, sort of like a side bend camel combo. And then on the exhale, we'll lower back down through our child's pose. Inhale, left arm opens. Stay for the breath out. Push the hips forward as you circle the left arm down, right arm up. And then exhale to release. Well, flow like that, let it feel good. You can go on your own time. Let it feel like a little dance. We're warming up the shoulders. So when we move into a twist, that active twist, we're moving in the transverse plane. So we're starting to open up the chest, the shoulders, warm up the back. And then when we push the hips forward, lean back, that's extension of the spine. So again, warming up the back body opening up through the front body. Last one. Beautiful. And then keep the knees wide if you can. On the next inhale, we're going to round up into a cat shape. On the exhale, drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze as you push the hips back, child's pose. Inhale, shift it forward. And exhale. So switching the breath in this spinal roll cat cow. We usually do the opposite breath pattern. So what can you discover here about this movement? How does the breath change it? Beautiful, next inhale, stay up, find that cat shape, come onto the fingertips and then slide the knees in about hips width, really tuck the chin in towards the chest, open through the backside of the body. Let the head hang. Beautiful, and then from here, come to a neutral spine, tuck the toes under, and then shift the hips back towards the heels. Walk the hands back one step, and then turn the fingers to face you, thumbs out, pinkies in. We're gonna shift forward, back, warming up through the feet, the wrists, the forearms. Beautiful. And then the next time your hips are back towards your heels, stay there and then come to a sit up. Interlace the fingers and just roll out the wrists a few times. We'll be on them quite a bit, so send them some love. 
Beautiful, and then gently release the hands back down to a tabletop. Untuck the toes, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, baby chaturanga. Inhale, push up. Exhale, baby chaturanga. One more, inhale, push up. Exhale, baby chaturanga. Lower all the way onto the belly from here. Squeeze the shoulder blades in towards the midline. Inhale for cobra. Exhale to lower. Again, inhale, ripple up as high or as low as your body will allow. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Bend the knees, reach the fingers back. Find a bow pose just for a moment. Flex the feet, kick feet into the hands. Squeeze shoulder blades in towards the midline and then try to lift, lift through the thighs. No worries if this isn't your deepest bow pose ever. We're still warming up. Beautiful, and then gently release. Tuck the toes under, plant the hands, inhale, high plank, exhale, downward facing. Take a deep breath in, and a long breath out. Let's warm up with a few sun salutations. So inhale, lift the heels, exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up to stand. Exhale, takes you right back down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back. First, Chaturanga, shift forward. Lower halfway down, elbows in line with shoulders. Inhale, upward facing, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, downward facing. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold it forward. One breath, one movement, halfway. Breath in, breath out, step it back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, maybe jump this time. Top of the mat. Halfway, fold forward. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga, maybe step or float. Up dog or down dog. Two down dog. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Let it go. Slight bend in the elbows. Think about spinning the inner elbows forward, spreading the shoulder blades away from each other. And think about asymmetrically squeezing the hands together that will activate the upper arms. Tailbone high, bend into the knees. If the hamstrings feel really tight here, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, right leg to sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, take the right knee to the outside of the right shoulder. Inhale, kick it back, three-legged. Exhale, pull it in inside of the right shoulder, right arm, and then step the right foot forward. Inhale, right arm goes forward, and then open to a twist. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, we're gonna drop the back knee. Right hand goes to the outside of the mat, so block is helpful here. Left arm sweeps overhead, big side bend in your low lunge. Roll the left shoulder back. Deep bend into the right knee. That will take you lower and make this a little bit more accessible to get the hand on the mat. Beautiful, next inhale, sweep both arms up. Exhale, open twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Breathe in. Breathe out, hands through the heart center, lean forward, hook left elbow on right thigh, and then lift the left knee, find a twist. Roll your right shoulder back. Beautiful, we're gonna inhale, hands to the heart, power lunge. Exhale, skandasana, bend into the right knee, left heel spins down, sit low into your right hip. Right hand goes down in front, inhale, left arm opens, and then exhale, lower all the way to your seat, hands back through the heart center. All right, I know my back is turned to you, but we're gonna pull right knee into the chest and then step it outside of the left leg for a twist. Right hand down, left arm lifts, exhale to twist, gaze towards the right. Roll your shoulders open, roll your chest open, sit up tall. 
Beautiful. Inhale, reach the fingers forward. Pull the right knee into the chest. Lean back, lift the left leg. Point the left toes if that feels good. You could always flex them as well. We're going to inhale to roll back. Keep the legs as is. Exhale, tap the right toes on the mat. Inhale, roll it back. Exhale, tap the right toes. Good. Use your core. Inhale, roll it back. Exhale, pistol squat. Right foot plants, left foot lifts. Hands reach forward. Take a breath in. Breath out, left foot down, hands plant, straighten both legs, modified pyramid. Square the hips, take a big breath in, hold on your breath out. We'll just take one full cycle of breath here. So we move a little bit slower for the first sequence and then we'll speed it up, add in more poses. Beautiful, next inhale, halfway lift and then step right foot to the back of the mat. Hold on the breath out. Inhale, sweep up to stand. Pull the right knee into the chest as you go. And then exhale, fly. Warrior three, kick the right leg back, arms by the sides. Take a big breath in. Breath out, land. Warrior two. Inhale, try and go back. Straighten through the left leg. Reach the left arm by the ear. Exhale, goddess squat. Heels in, toes out, hands through the heart center. Take a big breath in. Breath out, hands to the thighs, and twist your right shoulder down, gaze towards the left. Inhale, move through center, and exhale, left shoulder down, gaze to the right. Good, inhale, center, exhale, right shoulder down. Inhale, center, exhale, left shoulder down. Beautiful, inhale, center, sweep up, star pose. Exhale, warrior two, front of the mat. Inhale, reverse, hook the left hand into the right hip. Exhale, side angle, find that bind. Roll your left shoulder back. Deep bend into the right knee, spread the toes. Keep breathing. One more, inhale and exhale. Inhale, keep the bind, reverse with the right arm. Exhale, plant the right hand outside of the right foot, lift the left heel, right foot's gonna step back into a down dog, one arm. Breathe in, breathe out. Option, spin the left heel down, inhale, right leg up, three-legged, one arm down dog. And then gently release, shift forward, exhale, one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Beautiful, deep breath in, deep breath out, let it go. Next, inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, left knee outside of light, left shoulder. Inhale, kick it back, three-legged. Exhale, left knee inside of left shoulder, step it forward. Inhale, left arm forward, open, find the twist, stay for the breath out. Drop the right knee, sweep right arm, up by the ear, left hand meets the left side of the mat, and then lean over towards the left. Big stretch for the right side body, it feels so good. Roll your chest back, shoulders open, right toes tucked under for stability. Sink low into the left hip, that will give you more of a chance to get the left hand down. Beautiful, let's inhale to sweep both arms up. Exhale, open twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Take a big breath in here. Breath out, hands through the heart center. Lean forward, hook right elbow on left thigh, lift the right knee, find your crescent twist. Stay for one full cycle of breath. Beautiful, and then we're gonna inhale through power lunge, hands stay at the heart center. Exhale, spin the right heel down, skandasana, left knee bends. Left hand goes down. Inhale, open the right arm. Exhale, hands back through the heart center and then lower down onto the hips. Right hand, left ankle, left arm by the ear. Reach for the right foot. Maybe you find that connection, maybe not. More important to roll the shoulders open. We'll be in this shape a lot, so if you don't get it the first few times, that's okay. Beautiful, we're gonna inhale back up, hands through the heart center. Come back onto the mat if you are off it like me. And then we'll step left foot to the outside of the right thigh. Left hand behind, right arm lifts, exhale, twist. 
over towards the left, spine straight. Breathe in, breathe out. Beautiful, inhale to come back through center, reach the fingers forward, lean back, pull the left knee into the chest, lift the right leg. Same thing, we're gonna inhale to roll down. Exhale, roll it up, tap, left toes. Inhale, exhale, use your core, it's like a reverse crunch. Inhale, exhale, this time pistol squat. Left foot plants, maybe use your hands to help and then hands can come to the heart. Take a big breath in, breath out, planting. Right foot, straighten the legs, modified pyramid. My left side is so much harder than my right for me. Square the hips, take a deep breath in, breath out, fold over the right leg. Inhale, halfway lift, step left foot at the back of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep up to stand, pull left knee into the chest as you go, arms lift. Exhale, fly, airplane, kick the left foot back, reach the fingers back. Take a big breath in, breath out, slow and controlled. We're landing warrior two, left toes to the front of the mat. Reach right arm forward. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, try and go back, straighten through the right leg, reach the right arm back. Exhale, goddess squat, heels in, toes out. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Just one more cycle of breath here, holding, standing up tall. Sitting as low as you can in the legs, feeling that opening, inner thighs, outer hips. Beautiful, next inhale, star pose, reach up. Exhale, warrior two, front of the mat. Inhale, reverse, find that bind, right hand behind, left arm by the ear, exhale, bound side angle. Left forearm down, keep rolling the shoulders back and open. Push the left knee out towards the left, glue the right outside edge of the foot into the mat. Maybe look towards the right shoulder. Beautiful, keep the bind. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, circle, left hand down as you lift the right heel. And then plant the left foot at the back of the mat. One armed down dog. Option to stay here or spin right toes out, heel in slightly and lift left leg into this funky two-limbed, three-legged dog. Breathe in, breathe out, release. Right hand, one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. We'll take two more cycles of breath before we move on. Like I said, we will add on poses to that flow But can you let go of what we've already done, knowing that this experience is going to feel completely different the next few times we do that, even if we're doing the same shapes, because our body is constantly shifting, evolving, changing as we move. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Next inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder, option, ekapada. Kick the right leg out, lift the left leg, holding, gazing forward, and then left toes tuck under, inhale, three-legged dog, exhale, right knee inside, and then step it forward. Right arm circles forward, open to your twist, and then right away drop the left knee, find that side bend, right hand down, left arm by the ear, roll your shoulders back. Beautiful, next inhale, lift up, Exhale, open twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Breathe in, breathe out, hands to the heart center, lean forward, lift the left knee, find your crescent twist. Option to stay or open the arms, left hand down, right arm lifts. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, hands come back through the heart center, spin the torso to face the right thigh and then exhale, skandasana, bend into the right knee. Right away, land on the hips, left hand to right shin, right arm reaches for the left foot. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, we're gonna come all the way back up, pulling the right foot all the way over to the left. Left elbow hooks, right hand behind you, find that twist. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, option to stay here or 
find a side crow with funky legs. So keep the legs as is, plant the hands on the left side of the mat, bend into the left knee, and then we will lift the hips, keep the cross legs, and then lift the legs. Holding here for a moment. And then gently release back down, pull right knee into the chest, kick the left leg long. Inhale to lower, exhale, pull up, tap right foot. Again, inhale, exhale, last one. Inhale, find momentum, exhale, pistol squat, right foot plants. Left leg is long. We're all working on our pistol squats together. All right, left foot's gonna plant, hands will plant, modified pyramid. Take a deep breath in, breath out, maybe land the right heel, full pyramid. Square the hips, drop the head. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, halfway lift, right hand down, left arm to the sky, twisted triangle. Roll the left shoulder back, breathe in, breathe out. Gently release left hand, step it forward, Uttanasana, back of the mat. Take a breath in, breath out to fold. This time, hook the fingers around the big toes, inhale, and exhale, bend the elbows out to the sides, Padangustasana. Draw the crown of the head forward and down, tailbone high. Beautiful, inhale, release left fingers, take it to the hip. We're coming all the way up to stand, right fingers at right big toe. Option for the knee, take a big breath in, breath out, open the right knee, gaze towards the left maybe, left arm lifts out to the side. Beautiful, inhale to come back through center, release the grip, keep the right leg forward. Exhale, fly it, airplane, hinge forward. Take a big breath in, breath out, warrior two. Roll the right heel down. Inhale, triangle back. Exhale, full triangle pose, left hand down, right arm to the sky. Roll your right shoulder onto the back body, push equally into both feet. Beautiful, next inhale, come all the way up and exhale, goddess squat, just here for a moment. Inhale, star pose, exhale, warrior two, front of the mat. Inhale, reverse, find the bind with the left hand. Exhale, side angle. Option for the full bind this time, right arm reaches underneath you, hooks onto left fingers, roll the left shoulder back. Breathing in. Breathing out. Release that, left hand hooks back into the right hip crease. Find your reverse. Exhale, circle, right hand down, half moon, keep the bind. Roll the left shoulder back, kick the left foot towards the back of the mat, push into your right big toe. Breathe in, breathe out. Gently start to bend into the right knee. Right toes tuck under, heel lifts. Right hand plants, step it back maybe right away. Kick the leg back into your three-legged dog. Left heel spins in, toes spin out slightly. And then bend into the right knee, take hold with the left hand, tiger pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, release, exhale, one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Beautiful, deep breath in, deep breath out. Next inhale, left leg this guy. Exhale, left knee, left shoulder, maybe akapada. Find the arm balance. And then inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee inside of the shoulder. And then step it forward. Find that opening, left arm forward. Open to your twist. Right away, drop the right knee, keep the toes tucked. Left hand down by the side, right arm by the ear, find your side bend. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, arms lift, spine to neutral. Exhale, open twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Breathe in, breathe out, hands to the heart center, lean forward, hook, right elbow, left thigh as you lift the right knee. Option to stay right here or open the arms into your Straight arm, crescent twist. 
Beautiful, inhale, hands come back through the heart center, torso over the left thigh. Exhale, skandasana. Left knee bends, right leg straightens. Right away, land the hips. Don't fall over. Right hand, left ankle, left arm by the ear. Reach for the right toes, maybe you can get it this time. Roll the left shoulder back, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, we're coming up, pull left knee into the chest. Spin around to face the back of the mat, left foot outside of right thigh, left hand down, twist, right elbow hooks. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, same thing, we're gonna find that side crow variation if you would like it. So stepping right foot in, keep the cross of the legs, come up onto the hands, knees hook at the right elbow, and then you lean forward, lift the legs. Beautiful, and then gently release, hips down, left knee to chest, straighten through the right leg, inhale, roll it down, reverse crunch, exhale, tap the left toes, inhale, and exhale. Last one, find momentum, inhale, exhale, maybe pistol squat, hands are there if you need it, right toes, reach towards the back of the mat, breath in, Breath out, land right foot, straighten through the legs. Modified pyramid or full pyramid. Left heel in slightly, take a deep breath in. Breath out, fold over the right leg. Let this feel good. Beautiful, inhale, halfway lift, plant the left hand, and then open, twisted triangle. Roll your right shoulder back, legs are straight, soften in the knees. And then gently release the right hand, step it to the back of the mat. Feet go hips width this time. Fingers around the big toes, inhale halfway. Exhale, fold over the legs, drop the head. Front of the head towards the floor. Opening up through the hamstrings. I absolutely love this one every time. Beautiful, then release the right foot. Right hand comes to the hip, heel toe the right foot in. Inhale, Padangustasana. Standing leg raise, hip square. And then inhale, left leg goes out, right arm opens to the right. Stand up tall, core engaged, breath in, breath out. Inhale, left leg back to center, arms lift up. Exhale, fly, airplane. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, land, warrior two. Beautiful, inhale, triangle back, straighten through the right leg. Exhale, full triangle pose, hinge forward. Right hand down, left arm lifts. Roll the left shoulder back, push equally into both feet. And think about left hip back, right hip forward, just slightly. Next, inhale, star pose. Exhale, goddess, just for a moment, hands to the heart center. Inhale, back to star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, bound, reverse, right hand, left thigh. Exhale, side angle, left forearm down, keep the bind. Option to stay right here or find that full bind. Hands come behind you, roll the shoulders back. Keep breathing. Beautiful, and then release. Left hand to the top of the mat, keep the half bind, right hand in the left thigh. Lift up, half moon with the bind. Stack hips, right hip on top of left, right toes reaching towards the back of the mat. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, inhale. Exhale, slow and controlled. Start to take the right toes down, heel stays lifted. Plant the left hand, step it, maybe straight back to that three-legged, one-arm down dog. Maybe you bend into the knee, take hold of the foot, find your tiger pose. And then inhale to release it, shift it forward, one-legged chaturanga, up dog. We meet in a down dog. Three cycles of breath, we'll do that one more time and add on a little bit more. But in this moment, be here. How do you feel? 
what's going on in the mind, in the breath, in the body. Can you be present so that you can experience all of it? One more deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder. Find your ekapada. Meeting back, three-legged. Exhale, right knee inside of the arm and then step it forward. Inhale, open to your twist. Releasing the left knee as you go. Right hand comes down, left arm sweeps by the ear. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, open twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, twisted reverse this time. Right hand to the left eye, left arm by the ear. Exhale, lean forward, hook the elbow, plant the hands together, find your twist. Option to stay here if you want the bind. I like to put my right hand onto my right thigh, hook my left elbow even deeper, and then reach my right arm around. Come underneath, tuck the hands underneath the left, or the right thigh rather. If this isn't there for you, let it go. Roll your right shoulder back, gaze towards the back of the mat. Beautiful, inhale, hands through the heart center. Exhale, skandasana, spinning down. Last time we're here on this side, hips lower, left hand, right shin, right arm towards the left foot, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, hands back through the heart, turn towards the back of the mat, pull the right knee in, and then step it to the outside of the left foot. Find your twist. Left elbow hooks, right hand supports you. Gaze towards the right. One more time if you would like that arm balance. Pull the left knee in. Hands plant, lift the hips, come onto the left elbow with the right knee. Breathe in, breathe out. Maybe kick left leg long, right foot towards the back of the mat. And then eventually we'll all meet back onto the hips. Right knee pulls into the chest, left leg goes long. We're gonna inhale, lower it. Exhale, lift it, tap. Again, inhale to lower. Exhale, lift it. Last one. Exhale, pistol squat, right foot plants, legs lift. And then find your pyramid. Left heel in, or right heel in, left foot towards the back of the mat, square the hips, take a deep breath in, breath out to fold. Option to stay right here. If you would like to play into a flamingo shape, walk the hands back, and then turn the fingers to face the back of the mat. Really push into the fingertips and think about protracting the shoulders, so rounding through the back body like a cat. Lean forward so that the right foot starts to lift, and then bend the right knee. Take the heel towards the glute. Beautiful, really push in the hands here. Breathe in, breathe out. Gently release, right foot back down. Straight to your twisted triangle, right hand to the inside of the left foot, inhale, left arm to the sky. Stay for the breath out. We're gonna lift to a twisted half moon from here. Right foot lifts, right hand steps forward. Keep rolling your left shoulder open. Next inhale, come all the way to stand at the back of the mat. Pull the right knee into the chest, maybe grab hold. Right foot, right fingers. Open it out, right foot over to the right, gaze to the left. Inhale to move through center, switch the grip, left hand, right foot. Right arm opens, gaze to the right. Inhale, come back through center. Right leg stays long, arms lift. Exhale, fly. Airplane, kick the right foot back. Take a big breath in, breath out, land, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, triangle back. Exhale, full triangle pose. Maybe you just hover the left fingertips, use your core. Roll your shoulders back, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, goddess, just for a moment. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Last time, inhale, reverse, left hand to right, inner thigh. Exhale, side angle. Option for the full bind. Hooking the hands behind you. Gaze forward, step, left foot, top of the mat. Inhale, bird of paradise. Balance on the left leg. Right knee goes out to the side, maybe you straighten through the right leg. Take a big breath in, breath out. 
Start to bend into the right knee. We're going to bound half moon or reverse bird from here. So keep the arms as is if you can. Kick the left leg back, stacking left hip on top of right, or make your way to half moon if this isn't working for you. Stack the hips, stack the hips. Push into your right big toe, take a big breath in, breath out, land left foot. Left hand stays at the inner thigh, right hand plants last time. Three-legged, one arm, down dog. Maybe bend the knee, maybe take hold. Beautiful, and then gently release one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Last time we're gonna do it. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow or shoulder, and then fly it, ekapada. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, knee in, step it. Inhale, open to your twist. Drop the right knee, find that side bend. Inhale, arms lift back up. Exhale, open twist. Inhale, twisted reverse. Left hand to the right thigh, right arm by the ear. Exhale, lean it forward, hook the elbow, hands to the heart center. Option to stay, or you open the arms, or you find that bind, left hand goes down and around to hook with the right fingers underneath the left thigh. Left knee is in line with the toes still. Roll the shoulders open, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale to release, hands back through the heart center. Spin the torso to face the left thigh. Exhale, skandasana. Bend into the left knee. Lower the hips. Last, last time we're here. Right hand, left shin. Left arm to the right foot. Roll the shoulders open. Take a deep breath in. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, we're coming up. Pull the knee into the chest as you spin to face the back of the mat and step left foot to the outside of the right thigh. Left hand behind, hook the right elbow, find your twist. Breathe in, breathe out. Option, bend into the knees. Keep that crisscross. This side is so much harder for me to get into. Lift the hips, come onto the hands and find your side crow. Maybe you kick right leg long, left foot towards the back of the mat. Eventually finding that cross once again, coming down onto the hips. Woo, right leg long, left knee in. Inhale, we roll it back, reverse crunch. Exhale, tap the left toes. My core is getting tired. Again, inhale, exhale, last one. Inhale, exhale, find momentum, lift to your pistol squat, and then drop the right foot, pyramid. Left heel in, right foot forward, inhale. Exhale to fold. Option to stay if you would like to play. Walk the hands back. Turn the fingers to face the back of the mat or the front of the mat now, the back of the mat. Start to lean forward, lifting the left heel and then pull left knee in, heel towards the glute. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Plant the left hand, left hand or left foot, left hand to the inside of the right thigh. Inhale, open to your twist, square the hips, roll the right shoulder back. Breathe in, breathe out. Next, inhale, twisted half moon. Left hand steps forward, left leg lifts. Keep opening your chest towards the right side. Left leg is strong and active. Beautiful, next, inhale, pull. Left knee into the chest. Left toes can hook on, left big toe. Kick the leg forward. And then maybe you open left leg to the left, right arm to the right. Inhale through center and switch the grip. Right hand to the outside of the left foot. Left arm goes behind. Inhale to move back through center. Arms lift, exhale, fly, airplane. Take a breath in. Breath out, land, warrior two. Inhale, triangle back. Exhale, triangle pose. Maybe just hover the right fingertips. Use your obliques, belly button to spine. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, got a squat in between. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two, front of the mat. 
Inhale, reverse, find that bind. Right hand, left thigh, left arm by the ear. Exhale, left forearm down, side angle. Option to stay, or you know where we're going. Find the full bind, hooking the fingers. Gaze forward, and then step right foot top of the mat. Keep the bind, come up to stand. Left knee lifts, and then maybe you straighten through the left leg. Gaze at one point. And then gently release, left foot will step down. Inhale, reverse bird or bound half moon. Right leg lifts and then start to open the hips. This one is a tricky one. You can always just come to half moon however you get there. Beautiful, then gently release the right toes. Heel stays lifted, keep the bind with the right hand. Left hand plants, left leg three-legged. Bend the knee. Last time in tiger pose, kick the foot into the hand. And then gently release right hand, one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful work, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, hop to Malasana, heels in, toes out. Hands to the heart, sit up tall, maybe close the eyes for a moment. Opening up through the inner thighs. Feel the breath. Follow the inhale, the exhale. And come back to being present in this moment. It's a lot harder to be present when we're not moving. Beautiful, maybe blink the eyes open if you had them closed. We're gonna come down onto the hips. Sweep the feet forward and then lower onto our back. Head goes heavy, hands by the sides, feet walk in. Inhale to a bridge, lift the hips. Interlace the fingers, roll onto your shoulders, opening up through the chest. Deep breath in, exhale to release. Let's windshield wiper the legs a few times. And then draw the knees in, happy baby. Last shape. Knees wide, soles of the feet to the sky. Eyes can stay closed. Stabilize through the spine. Draw the shoulders down. Beautiful, and then gently release Shavasana, either feet together, knees wide, or legs stretch long. We'll just be here for a moment or two. If you need any final shape, as always, you can take it. And if you know you want a longer Shavasana, you can pause the video so that you can stay in stillness. Allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm and allow the body to soften, feeling the support of the mat to the floor, the ground underneath you. And continue to stay here. This is arguably the hardest pose in yoga in terms of staying present. When the body is in stillness, the mind loves to wander. So keep reminding it to come back. Take a deep breath in, 
and a deep breath out. Start to wiggle fingers and toes. Draw the knees into the chest or find a full body stretch. Eventually roll to one side, press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Sit up tall, eyes stay closed just for a moment, hands to heart center. As always, notice how you feel, what has changed since the beginning of class. And if nothing comes up, that's okay. The last moment to be present. And as always, can you find that feeling of gratitude for whatever it is in your life that comes up right away and then include yourself in that feeling. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Draw the hands to the forehead. Together we say namaste. Awesome job. I hope you loved this class. Please let me know in the comments. As always, if you did, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. It really helps to support me. And let me know what you would like to see next in the comments. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.